card. Okay, so okay, so hello, uh, my name is Pedro. I'm a, a lead lead designer at uh, Collabra. Um, you can also um, you can also uh, get a hold of me on Twitter. Uh, that is my handler. Um, so let's start it. Um, as the topic of my uh, talk uh, says here, the, 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 I'm going to talk about uh, consistency, visual, and uh, how um, code and design interface um, and the structure uh, actually live uh, together, and um, they are kind of cyclic. In this, uh, in the, the in our workflow to improve uh, Collabra, um, if like today is the last day, so probably you know what is uh, Collabra online. But if you have any uh, any other question, how to get the code, how to contribute, how to, uh, or where is this, uh, where are these things, or how to even build Collabra online for your uh, particular distro, you can go ahead. Um, at over uh, collaboraonline.github.io and you will see uh, some nice posts there uh, of course you can uh, visit the FAQ uh, but also uh, really cool is our uh, build uh, how to build Collabora Online uh, post where I uh, recently um, updated uh, and also uh, Mohamed Kara also uh, helped here with the instructions from other distros. So if you want to add additional <laughs> instructions there, um, uh, or if you see any problem, feel free to uh, report um, and we will, uh, you know, make it easier and <laughs> uh, easier to get and even overall uh, uh, more uh, friendly, right? So. Uh, we are we are uh, we care about um, uh, easy to use not only in the in the in the software itself but even the whole workflow um, in and out. So uh, visual consistency. Uh, normally uh, we might uh, we might think about uh, consistency being just visual. Um, but I, I, I will uh, try to um, jump between code, interface, interface and code <clears throat> and also um, mention that actually this division can be quite blurry and that's okay and we can even benefit from that. Um, so on one side we might have some code structure or, or, or some changes on, uh, in, in the code and on the other side, we have uh, interface decisions, uh, design decisions that we need to uh, take. And uh, more often than not, uh, when uh, we need or we are, uh, we want to work in a specific component. For example, uh, I wanted to uh, make sure that some specific components in our um, toolbar, uh, but also across uh, other other uh, sections. Uh, were more consistent between each other and this uh, actually generated quite nice discussion and let me um, kind of motivate uh, a, a, a clear uh, CSS. And so um, we start this whole process of uh, cleaning uh, this up, making um, this uh, visual consistency not only in the end result but even uh, within uh, the, the, the software itself, right? So we try to split in uh, many different files. Mm, uh, these files then are, uh, become easier to hack, easier to style, because they start to uh, correspond to the, to the components itself, um, themselves, not, not only in a logical way, but even in the, in the visual uh, manner. Um, we try to reduce, um, any, I try to reduce any resident rules across uh, all files and uh, 
uh, I also started to feel the need and started uh, and, and my anxiety started to be through the roof because I really wanted uh, to enforce uh, some uh, consistency uh, and consistency in terms of uh, the formatting itself, uh, but also the rules we 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 should follow in terms of linked. So um, we also and I, uh, a little bit more on this later. Um, we also try to avoid guessing uh, or at least uh, trust one hundred percent in CSS media queries uh, because we encounter many problems, right? Um, we start to see many uh, phablets with uh, uh, very diverse resolutions, but also many tablets with uh, weird, uh, not only even weirder uh, form factors um, from uh, different, uh, you know, different manufacturers. Um, and on top of that, we uh, we had these two little guys fighting. <laughs> Uh, each other, yeah. Sometimes CSS would say one thing, sometimes JavaScript say one thing, and we really uh, made effort uh, to um, soften all these uh, corners uh, and and uh, rely uh, mainly in in the JavaScript size uh, side, um, and this proven to be a, a, a win uh, win situation in in many cases, not only for mobile but also for for tablet. Um, then um, I basically try to have it uh, in an automatic way, so uh, using style linked, which there is many other uh, ways to to uh, to help in in linking your code, but style linked is is one, and um, I try to uh, have it automatically uh, checking. Um, online uh, at each make run. Um, so not only I went manually to each, each, uh, each file we have, checking all the rules, uh, but also it was important to exclude third party files. For instance, we have some, uh, uh, not that many, but we have like one, two uh, libraries that they have their own uh, CSS files and it was important to exclude them. Because in the future, if we want to keep it uh, light and flexible, the update of those files, we don't need to we don't need to worry so much about their formatting. We can just um, update them and take the uh, upstream formatting that they use. Uh, yeah, big thanks, uh, of course, for uh, for Henry that kind of helped me out uh, in this in this uh, final process of including the make run. Um, and for instance, this is one example. Now, uh, not only the JavaScript is checked, but also the CSS side is checked. And in here, we see that uh, we have a duplicated uh, selector that we probably forgot uh, f about. Uh, maybe we, we declared in, in, at the beginning of the file and then we, we declared again at the end and we forgot. So it's this really helpful. Uh, to keep the things tidy and uh, even easier to bug fix and overall to improve um, the, the the visual uh, and the whole uh, interface. So by making it uh, this side of the question crystal clear, it then uh, looped back and benefit back the, the interface because suddenly things were easier uh, uh, easier to uh, work and with that um, next step was being sure that uh, maybe a couple of things on the JavaScript JavaScript side uh, was also um, were uh, also clean um, and so for instance and uh, we try to decrease uh, the redundancy especially in the dialogue side uh, so, for instance, we have here uh, our insert comment um, that uses uh, VEX and also here on mobile also uses the VEX library. So, um, we st it's, it's not something that remarkable, but it has really a remarkable impact uh, then in maintenance and even in the, in the visual side of, of the question. So, big thanks for uh, Pranam. 
uh, that really uh, hunt these beats down and made sure that everything was consistent. So now we can uh, just deal with these things in one place instead of multiple places. Um, and uh, again, it looked back to the interface. Uh, this allowed me and motivated me to even go further and really check every single uh, state of our component. Uh, be sure that all states are accounted for. Um, and here you see that not only we are using, for instance, comments, annotations, and of course, uh, the tracking changes um, components. They are also annotations, but they come from tracking changes. And thus, uh, they do look different. They do have slightly different components on them. Uh, even though you can even comment uh, in, in, in these uh, tracking changes you would in uh, LibreOffice on your desktop. But it was important to make this, uh, this clear, you know, when, when are you typing, when are you not typing, when you are viewing, what's the difference between uh, these hierarchies. Um, uh, and these, uh, so we are just going to talk about really, I really like this, this, uh, this positive, kind of coincidence, a little bit, a bunch of coincidences, but really positive because you see, since we work so much in, uh, in this collaborative way, Pranam starts to work on one side, I go, I, 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 I started to work on, on the uh, other side. And hide requests. And I Plus now that also listen to someone. And using online in a web browser. But, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm hearing, uh, yeah, thanks. Um, and then there was this opportunity to bring more features to mobile. So for instance, we have here how we were displaying comments on mobile and it was quite tedious because you need, especially on a phone, you need to uh, use, uh, you need to drag and pan to see your comments. And now there is this possibility. Now we are using the same VEX library. Now we are using the same um, code. Uh, we can share not only the code, but also the aesthetics of it um, and the same rules. And of course, this is a work in progress. Many things are still, uh, they still need to be improved, uh, but it's awesome effort uh, initiated from Pranam and now we get benefits uh, not only in, in the code itself. Um, and for instance, uh, there, were, there will be many um, easy hacks and other things that you can help with. So a very a really easy uh, hack and uh, it's quite a good first issue to get your feet wet is uh, simply to um, you know replace our trigger that was um, that were that were signifying uh, insert comment to something uh, that doesn't have the plus uh, that that simply signifies that you are going to trigger the comment section the, the comment panel um, a lot, lots of great work from uh, Shimon on, on this front, on the JavaScript front. Uh, and if you see other talks, you already uh, saw and, 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 and listen him uh, going through all the technical bits. Uh, but the cool thing is that this led, this, uh, all, all these things you see here, led to a cyclical uh, improvement, right? So uh, even though it was something that came from uh, JavaScript and all, it was something actually that then encompassed um, CSS uh, design and, and it was something that started from uh, a necessity or a motivation uh, far from the design realm. But then uh, it benefited uh, that design uh, side. Um, and of course, fixing and unifying uh, units used uh, in uh, input fields, spinners, all these controls uh, were also quite, uh, these, these, there was a, an opportunity that was enabled uh, by all this uh, effort. Um, so then we try to make sure that the user knows which units is working on, uh, which uh, type of components is working on, even without reading. So, uh, because they don't read, they really just scan. Um, and even uh, feedback from users, users and customers were uh, taken into account. So, for instance, even though we we uh, cyclic we we 
frequently save the document um, and we used to have a, a back uh, chevron, a back arrow uh, to, to leave the app. People were quite afraid <laughs> to press that icon um, and so uh, because they didn't know they wanted to be sure it was saved even though it even if it was already saved. So they were always going to hamburger menu, be sure that it was saved and, uh, and then press the arrow uh, icon. Uh, so we just replaced that with the check mark and we even uh, in, uh, we even emphasize we even increase uh, its importance uh, by means of you and uh, color so they can be quite uh, comfortable that this is not a destructive uh, action and it's quite a positive uh, action it will just save the document and, and leave the tab um, now and there is many things I, I want to talk here but maybe <laughs> I will go fast because I really have many slides. So, but for instance, inactive states was also a big, a big uh, section. Um, not only, um, not only in the visual side, but also in the code side. So, for instance, I I noticed that uh, these these uh, states were not being communicated that well. Uh, so I wanted to improve that, and then I found out that actually the Java there were many JavaScript. JavaScript pieces uh, that were still uh, listening and active. So then it forced me to fix those parts and then go back to the design and then finally have the states I wanted. Uh, you know, so every so then every site benefited, even though in this case it was a motivation came from uh, design. So it's really interesting and at least for me, it's it's quite curious to see <clears throat> these two sides. Uh, they are actually not two sides. They are, or at least they are two sides of the same coin. Um, now, opening PDF, it's an amazing effort, uh, especially from Quickie, um, and he already presented the technical bits of this, but it, it, I wanted to take a moment and let sink, sink in the, the challenges and the awesome results we got from this. Um, so, it was important to provide a clear um, interface um, to view a PDF with Collabra Online. And there is many ways to do it depending on your uh, storage uh, service. Um, but in here, we are not editing anymore. We are not modifying per se the, the document structure. We are here mainly to view a document. So we really clean everything that was useless in this case and we let up, we, we, we let up front actions like search, rename the document or and of course uh, navigating through uh, either existing uh, markers, existing annotations or uh, newly created annotations. So for instance in here and of course they are still uh, a long way to, to make this even better and I have uh, at least in my mental roadmap things uh, to make it much better but um, it was nice that I can I, I could be uh, watching or listening a car presenting taking my notes um or it doesn't it doesn't need to be even like in that form factor if you have uh, a4 it will also work um and you can then just let this this main action um, up front uh, which is viewing uh, and taking notes now the workflow doesn't uh, start or end uh, within uh, Collabra Online. It was quite important to know what happens after or before the PDF um, gets to Collabra Online. So it, it, there was a lot of, of testing um, to, to be sure that okay these annotations are uh, properly uh, possible to view uh, in different uh, PDF viewers as a matter if you are um, on Windows, uh, Linux, they should be be able to, to, to view them and navigate. And of course import them. So um, again it was really interesting uh, demo uh, shown by Quickie, uh, I think yesterday. And it again there is room for a user experience in improvement here, right? Uh, maybe uh, a way to, uh, uh, to, to show the user which pieces uh, are actually PDF incorporated in your ODP. 
um, and there is a lot of ideas going on so I, I just I'm quite <laughs> motivated to, to, to just have time to you know to improve it even um, further Now, um, something I also focus quite a lot is this action reaction um, pair. So, what is the trigger and what's the result? Does the result um, is somehow uh, connected or uh, gives you any idea of what it was the trigger and vice versa? So initially, uh, we had some troubles uh, with, uh, with the cloning, uh, for instance, styles. Uh, and we really wanted to, 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 to use the respective cursor for this. Um, uh, before, uh, we were using some kind of legacy uh, icon. The problem is that this icon uh, was uh, resulting in many reports some some reports not many because many when we compare to other reports we receive but some reports um, that people were getting confused wait but am i going to like change the feel of my cell or what is going on here i didn't press this um, even though it it was like functional functional wise it was actually working uh, quite well. It was just something about the disconnection between the trigger and the result. And so a, a very easy uh, solution, just swapping the, the icon, um, again, uh, result in a remarkable positive uh, feedback from these uh, initial negative reports. Now, there were many features enabling viewing and editing documents online, uh, be that on iOS or Android. Uh, but with all this enabling, uh, there were uh, many challenges uh, that were needed to be uh, solved. So for instance, in, in here, we see uh, ODT um, and we started to receive uh, some requests uh, and some worried requests about um, the missing uh, word count uh, feature. Uh, and initially, we, we thought that it could be simply inside of the view uh, sub panel, but we start to notice that uh, many people uh, using mobile, and not only, uh, of course, not only uh, phone, but also tablet. Uh, we're trying to find some kind of an easy shortcut for this word count, uh, not only for the selected text, but the whole text. And they wanted to, to see this with the less, uh, with, the, with little uh, effort possible. So in, in here, we kind of um, enhance that uh, position, that place to a more uh, upper level um, position in, in the hamburger and this is a small change that actually uh, result in, in happy users um, and, and again it was these little reports, these little comments that um, uh, previously uh, Candy was talking about that we are receiving a lot of comments uh, for instance in the, in the Play Store but even in the emails and you know we try to answer all of them we even try to uh, not only read but really think uh, and try to get, gather how many people are, are saying the same thing, um, you know, because at the end it's for them that we are uh, doing this. They, are, they need to be able to use it in the, the, mo the easiest possible way. Um, another big challenge was, uh, for instance, in Calc, people do not, or at least the people that do use uh, the, the app, on mobile do not remember specific or might not remember in specific the function that they want and they really wanted a way uh, not only to insert a function but a more exploratory way to learn about the, 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 the function and it's it was not a, a a plus B report that we re received this but it were many reports of people that were inserting uh, the, the function that 
wrongly. They, it was not that function they wanted. So they need, always need to go back and insert multiple times. So in here, um, still in one-handed uh, interface, we, we managed to have there some little helper that they can always press that, uh, that icon and they get to know more about the, the function. Uh, and these and there is a lot of room so even if the function has uh, not only uh, text but if we manage to even bring not only text but even other things that are already uh, available uh, be that images or even examples suddenly these uh, this little section can be quite educative of course it's always a balance between uh, how much you can show until it's too much <laughs> Uh, so it's, it's important. Um, but we, we notice that more people start to appear. Uh, I'm not sure if it was because uh, it, you know, it was the leap year, <laughs> uh, but it, it, they were quite happy with this uh, nice little uh, change. Um, and it's always, uh, you know, it's, it's always really nice to hear uh, nice, you know, positive words uh, from, from the users, from the final users. Uh, then uh, I also made, tried to make a, a couple of uh, videos that do show uh, the average uh, Joe that, that uses, for instance, Google Docs, that many times their, um, their complaints or their uh, requests are uh, without uh, reasoning. Yeah? Or maybe they didn't really look that further. Uh, so we have, for instance, here three examples, uh, the copy pasting, scaling images, or even apply master slides. And I dare you, try to apply master slides on, for instance, uh, Google Docs, or try to scale images on the go. When I mean on the go, I don't mean tablet. I mean really a phone. Try it. Or even copy pasting. It's, 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 it was just uh, very, uh, uh, very funny. Uh, even to go through this process uh, and, and both and we are here talking uh, both on Android and even on iOS and on iOS the, the some of the scaling uh, just scaling an element was really really I don't know you just need to watch it or even try it maybe try it will be even funnier um, but of course, uh, so we are always here or at least I'm here mentioning multiple times uh, consistency Yes, consistency is, is, is the key. Yes, consistency is, is what we are aiming for. But at the same time, we really do not want to lose our flexibility. And with this, we also, we are, we also uh, keep an open ear for, for all the requests or even suggestions. So Notebook Bar was quite a high uh, uh, request we were receiving. Um, and yes, it's now uh, shining in all its glory. Uh, and there is many little pieces that needed to be solved specifically for online. Not only because online has specific limitations, but also has specific context. Um, <clears throat> and there are things that are, they have still, and thanks God, they have still um, quite a room to, for improvement. And, that, and that's nice because it keeps us uh, you know, in our toes and we want to do it, uh, keep it doing it better. But I call your attention for, again, the amount of functionality that we were able to bring uh, up front. And many of these things were also um, coming from uh, the, the, the feedback we, we keep receiving also from the customers and from all the users that they do have. Uh, and maybe they are, uh, the necessity of those users, sometimes they are different from the necessities of the same users when they are using a desktop app and not on a browser or on the go or on a tablet, etc. Uh, but of course, all, many of these things uh, still need to be accessible, even if they were not uh, the main goal of those users, at least not their main necessity. So for all these, they are still uh, able to reach, be that via a second layer or a, or a left click, but they are still there. So we want to have it flexible, but 
without uh, leaving any power in the table. In the calc side, um, it was quite uh, it's, it was quite a challenge to know uh, which which of those things were uh, were important in this case. And of course, uh, we need to be very thankful uh, for Heiko and all the the, the 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 good discussion that is generated not only now but even along all these years, because there's many things that were already uh, a big concern, already uh, thought out very well uh, on, on the desktop. And of course, we are not blind, uh, blind to this. Um, but I also call it your attention for the status bar. The status bar, um, we started to, to see uh, people um, that were complaining uh, about something that actually that actually it exists exactly like this, uh, even in other office suites, which was uh, when nothing is selected, uh, there was nothing was saying that nothing was selected, simply in the status bar was empty. Um, and, onli and online, and because people sometimes use different, um, you know, uh, interfaces, I mean physical interfaces, sometimes they use a mouse, sometimes they use a finger, and they were really wanted to have a, a good feedback if anything is selected or if something else is hidden but it's selected and even about insert mode. Uh, so it was also a, a good uh, little touch that we did there. Now, of course, this takes uh, some room for small factor um, screens. And of course, we had this uh, in mind. And from this, you can very easily uh, just tab, uh, just press, click your tab, uh, hide your sidebar, and you can see now your whole big slide, even in a small uh, screen. Um, when I mean flexible, I also uh, do not want to forget the, 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 friendliness, the friendliness. Um, so, Many people still prefer classic, and the classic tool, toolbar is still there. And it's still rocking with all this functionality. Uh, the, the ruler got uh, also uh, revamped uh, in a different size. Uh, we also work closely uh, with, uh, for instance, Nextcloud, OnCloud to, to make sure uh, that everything is nice and tidy in their own um, you know, uh, solution because again, we need to uh, account for the workflow in and outside of uh, Collabra Online. And of course, make it yours. So I did a talk, uh, well, it seems that it was last year. <laughs> and I guess many things happen uh, this year. So last year, uh, how you can uh, customize uh, your uh, Collabra online. You know, even if you don't want to <coughs> contribute, uh, which of course I advise against. Um, but you know, if you if you have your own uh, your own family, you just want to do some funny thing. You maybe you want to do uh, you want to customize icons or something for your kid or something like this. You can do it. And in this talk, I try to guide you uh, through that. So so I advise you to to watch this. Uh, but I want to spend too much time talking about this right now. But what you can do is tag along and help. And we do need help. Uh, but we have been uh, receiving some really uh, positive feedback. And I will go uh, there in a moment. But for instance, uh, styling. Um, there were many things that were fixed. Uh, I uh, introduced uh, CSS vars finally on, um, and you can see it upstream. And of course, there's still room, and we use it already in many places. Uh, you know, so it's very easy now to use the official uh, LibreOffice uh, color branding, um, and it's 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 nice, it's tidier, and it avoids um, it avoids, for instance, problems that can come from newcomers that want to contribute, and that, that's nice. Um, and of course, it improves the overall consistency, not only in the colors, but also fonts, etc. 
and even easier to 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 hunt where it, where it's where is the bug or what where is the the place that needs fixing. Um, but this is only getting better, um, and I'm uh, really happy um, to say that we have we have been receiving uh, really nice feedback regarding this this. Uh, this page, I try to uh, make it uh, as easier uh, to find uh, information I could. Uh, so we have upfront uh, build Collabra online, but you also have built for Android. You have the easy hacks. If you enter the easy hacks, you will also see consistently uh, showing up the last three easy hacks, and you can go to GitHub then. Um, but also how to report bugs. Uh, what about translators? Uh, you know how to 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 do these things for with weblate etc and of course all the channels for uh, communication uh, but of course if you have any uh, feedback even in this uh, in this side of uh, the things like the the website i'm really eager uh, to hear um, and and it's really amazing uh, to see all the new uh, contributors uh, that we have and I say new, I should probably say uh, new old contributors, right? Uh, but they are new in a sense that uh, in this Collabra online. Uh, and I really wanted to save a couple of minutes uh, to really express my uh, gratitude. Uh, I try to do, I, at least I try and I try to do my best uh, trying to guide or trying to, to either review. Uh, but I, you know, I have only uh, two hands and not that uh, much time to do all these things. Uh, but it's really nice to see all the cool things that were already merged. So uh, special thanks to uh, Rizal for uh, uh, the syncing the Colibre icon set. Uh, of course, big thanks to Alan, Corleone, uh, Batuhan. I hope I'm not butchering all these names. Uh, Mukahid uh, and also, huge thanks to Andreas Keynes, and we are working now in a really cool thing uh, that you can even see there the link. Uh, that hopefully, in a not so distant future, we can have again uh, some some nice presentation, uh, unveiling some more cool stuff, some more cool theming, uh, and even dynamic uh, theming. So yeah, it's uh, exciting times, uh, and I hope. Um, I hope everyone uh, is safe out there uh, and uh, thanks for uh, listening. I hope I didn't went too fast. I hope I didn't went too slow. <laughs> um, then again, thanks.